New research tells us that narcissists are more likely to have this one feature on their faces. Can you guess what it is? Well, that's what we're talking about today at queenbeing.com. So let's get started. My name is Angie Atkinson and on this channel, I offer free daily video coaching to help you discover, understand, and overcome narcissistic abuse in toxic relationships. I like to call it toxic relationship rehab. So if that sounds good to you, hit that subscribe button and we'll just get going. By a certain facial feature, you can tell someone's a narcissist. And in this case, they're talking about none other than the eyebrows. According to this study, a grandiose narcissist can be identified by very well-groomed, large, prominent eyebrows. How do we work through this knowing that giant eyebrows are in its style right now? How many people do you see walking around with big, well-groomed, well-manicured eyebrows? It's the distinctiveness of the brow that makes a person stand out. Why is this the case? According to Psychology Today, the study authors got together a bunch of people and examined how they perceived faces as a whole. Apparently, they were able to see and perceive narcissists just from their faces, even when the faces were turned upside down. That, according to the study authors, was because the cue was in the eyebrows. They've confirmed the results by manipulating the photos to reduce the eyebrow size and see if it continued to be obvious to people that someone was a narcissist. So then they increased the eyebrow prominence on someone who wasn't a narcissist. They determined that people were far more likely to assume someone was a narcissist by their eyebrow size. In previous research, we've learned that people notice someone's a narcissist based on a bunch of different things, such as their likeliness to look attractive, depending on if they're a grandiose narcissist. We're talking about a grandiose narcissist here. How expensive their clothing choices are, how flashy they are, and how neat or organized their appearance looks. And when we're talking about gender-specific behavior, narcissistic men apparently are less likely to wear glasses. I didn't know that one. Narcissistic women are more likely to wear makeup, show cleavage, and pluck their eyebrows. Now, here's the thing. I don't really know that any of that is true, but I do know that when a person, because the, the fact is we all take care of ourselves a little bit, right? Some people, I like to wear lipstick. Some people like to wear, you know, other kinds of makeup, but it's about the overall flashiness. The study was done by the University of Toronto, two authors at the University of Toronto. So the study was originally done to determine whether or not a specific facial feature would pull the narcissism judgment out of the average person. The researchers took headshots of each participant and then had each participant complete the narcissistic personality inventory, a standardized test. You can see that test at queenbeing.com, by the way. Then there was a second set of participants who were meant to judge the group based on appearance. Singled out areas of the face were also shown to the group to help researchers figure out whether people thought those things were important or not. And then they compiled all of this data to determine whether people thought that certain factors made other people feel more self-important or whether certain factors were related to people feeling self-important. Miranda Giacomin, probably saying that wrong, was the lead researcher in this particular study. And she said that people were more likely to judge narcissism accurately based on the upper half of the face, specifically the eyebrows. So uh, basically what it comes down to is that she said a person's preference for thick or prominent eyebrows would basically indicate their preference toward being popular or well-liked. So I'm going to leave this one to you. Are eyebrows really full of secrets? These are my real eyebrows. Un actually not even plucked. These are just how they grow on my head. Do you think that someone having thick, prominent eyebrows that are intentionally manicured that way would lead to that person being a narcissist? Or is this just a silly study that doesn't mean anything? Tell me your thoughts in the comment section below and let's talk about it. That's the question of the day. The question of the day is, could big, thick eyebrows, intentionally manicured eyebrows mean that a person is a narcissist or not? Share your thoughts, share your ideas, share your experiences in the comment section below, and let's talk about it. As always, thank you so much for being a part of my day and a part of my life. And hey, thanks for letting me be a part of yours. It really does mean a lot to me. That's all I've got for you right now. But before I go, make, make sure you take a look at the videos I'm leaving for you right here and right here. And while you're here, hit that subscribe button right there so we can stay connected and continue on this healing journey together. And don't forget, you're never alone. You've always got your spanily. I'll see you soon.